of Arda and Clon Like Noise, the Maris Pilgrimage, the Diocese of Kilmore. I welcome particularly those who are sick, assisted pilgrims. Uh, the grotto is the heart of Lourdes and this is the place where it all began 
and it is a place of very special welcome for those who are sick or infirm. It's wonderful to be here in this Jubilee Year of Mercy, in this place where God has shown his mercy in so many ways over the past 150 years or more since Our Lady appeared to St. Bernadette. We thank God for his mercy and we ask him as we come here to Lourdes to help us to be merciful like him. So to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist together, let us pause for a moment to be aware of the presence of God as we gather in his name. We ask his help, his mercy, and his pardon. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. You are the Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God, whose mercy is without measure, through the prayers of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Mercy, grant that we may know your loving kindness on earth and come at last to the glory of heaven. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letters to Hebrews. During his life on earth, Christ offered up prayer and entreaty, aloud and in silent tears, to the one who had the power to save him out of death. And he submitted so humbly that his prayer was heard. Although he was son, he learned to obey through suffering. But having been made perfect, he became for all who obey him the source of eternal salvation. The word of the Lord. Have mercy on me, have mercy on me, 
of Jesus took him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, observing what stands written in the law of the Lord. Every firstborn male must be consecrated to the Lord and also to offer in sacrifice in accordance with what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now, in Jerusalem, there was a man named Simeon. He was an upright and devout man. He looked forward to Israel's comforting, and the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death until he had set eyes on the Christ of the Lord. Prompted by the Holy Spirit, he came to the temple. And when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what the law required, he took him into his arms and blessed God, and he said, Now, Master, you can let your servant go in peace, just as you promised, because my eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared for all the nations to see, a light to enlighten the pagans and the glory of your people, Israel. As the child's father and mother stood there, wondering at the things that were being said about him, Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, You see this child, he is destined to be a sign that is rejected, and a sword will pierce your own soul too, so that the secret thoughts of many may be laid bare. There was a prophetess also, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was well on in years. Her days of girlhood over, she had been married for seven years before becoming a widow. She was now 84 years old and never left the temple, serving God night and day with fasting and prayer. She came by just at that moment and began to praise God. And she spoke of the child to all who looked forward to the deliverance of Jerusalem. When they had done everything that the law of the Lord required, they went back to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. Meanwhile, the child grew to maturity, and he was filled with wisdom, and God's favor was with him. The Gospel of the Lord.
Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, turn thy eyes of mercy towards us, thy children. <coughs> Many of you will already know very well the account of that first apparition when Bernadette experienced the eyes of mercy from this heavenly visitor. I hope you don't mind if we remind ourselves of the key events of that first apparition. You will know that Bernadette came with her younger sister and a family friend to gather firewood for their poor home. Whilst the other two girls went off into the fields searching for this firewood, Bernadette paused here in order to cross the river. And the gusts of wind draw her attention to this grotto of Massaviel. She knew it as the place where travellers would sometimes sleep roughly at night on their pilgrimage route to Compostela, and where pigs came in order to rummage here among the rubbish heap that was often dumped in this site. And you know the account that she later put on paper. I saw immediately a lady in white, no bigger than myself. She greeted me with a slight bow of the head. I was afraid and stepped back. I wanted to call the other two girls who were with me, but I didn't have the courage to do so. I rubbed my eyes again and again. I thought I was mistaken. Raising my eyes, I saw the lady smiling at me most graciously and seeming to invite me to come nearer, yet I was still afraid. It was, however, a fear such as I have had at other times, very different to those other times, because I would have stayed there forever looking at her. I thought of saying my prayers and put my hand in my pocket to take out the rosary I carry with me. I knelt down and tried to make the sign of the cross, but could not lift my hand to my forehead. It fell back. The lady was surrounded by light and very beautiful. And she turned towards me, her eyes blue and gentle, holding the rosary in her hand. She crossed herself. My hand was trembling. I tried again to make the sign of the cross, and this time I could do it. And after that, I wasn't afraid. Like many of the other apparitions, this first apparition took place in silence. Bernadette found the courage to raise her eyes to look on the heavenly lady, and she found someone who was looking and gazing at her with gentleness. We come as travelers from all over the world to find in this holy place a resting spot, a place where we receive heavenly food for the journey, a place in which our mother gazes on us with gentle and loving eyes. Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, turn thy most gracious, thy Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy 
towards us. Bernadette's religious intuitions are strong. When faced with someone she doesn't know, her first instinct is to grab her rosary. But she cannot make the sign of the cross. It is Bernadette who, is, who has to look to Mary in order to teach her not only to make the sign of the cross, but to live the sign of the cross. Mary teaches Bernadette the mystery of Jesus. It is Mary who helps Bernadette not to be afraid. Bernadette came here for firewood. She heard a gust of wind. Fire and wind, symbols of the gift of the Holy Spirit, signs of a new Pentecost, of a fresh outpouring of the mercy and love of Jesus. We too need this outpouring of mercy and love. We need the experience of being gazed upon with those gentle and merciful eyes that we may know God's love. We need to be transformed by her smile, to be transfigured by her tenderness, to be shown how to live under the sign of the cross. And what does Bernadette do when she leaves this place following the apparition? She goes to her confessor. Before coming back again, she goes to the church for holy water so that she can sprinkle this beautiful lady when she next sees her, to know that this apparition is of God. Bernadette knows that to live in the life of faith, to encounter Jesus, she needs the church. She needs the church's ministers and she needs the church's sacraments. She doesn't rely on her own intuition or personal inspiration. She seeks an accompaniment, a guide. She knows left to herself, she could well take the wrong road. Like us, left on our own, we can easily get lost. But with our mother, the church, we find a sure footing. I'm going to tell you all a secret. Beyond the grotto, what is the most beautiful chapel in the whole of Lourdes? It's the Chapel of Reconciliation. It's not adorned with extraordinary mosaics and beautiful paintings like the basilica above us, but it is the most beautiful. Beautiful because within it, the soul is touched by the balm of God's mercy. The penitent experiences once more the embrace of our mother, the church. How often have I gone to confession my heart heavily burdened with my sins. How often have I come away filled with light and with tenderness, a light to enlighten the Gentiles for the glory of all people. Through the sacrament, we know we are loved, blessed, forgiven, we learn once more how to live under the sign of the cross. We raise our eyes to our mother, 
and our mother the church embraces us once more through the ministry of the priest gives us Jesus's absolution we're able to continue on life's journey our gaze focused once more on our mother who looks upon us with gentleness and with love to the pilgrims from Ireland, I greet you warmly. Welcome to the year, go Wilmot and Shaw. Elk on Grattel, Fekamud Pisa on the Flash. Anish, Govamush, our son the Kaila. Thanks be to God that we are here. At the Grotto, we experience a piece of heaven. Now, let us pray to our mother for one another. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail, our life, our sweetness, and our love. To thee we cry for thy children of thee. To thee we set up our sights, morning and evening, in the sight of tears. Turn them most gracious out again, and our eyes are mercy towards us. And after this our exile, gathered in prayer, privileged to be a pilgrim people at this holy shrine, we call upon the Lord for all our needs. We lift our prayers to you. We lift our prayers to you. to help pilgrims, that this experience and the grace we receive may be shared generously with our families and friends. With Mary, our Mother of Mercy, we pray. We lift our prayers to you. We lift our prayers to you. church is called upon to be constantly renewed in spirit. Let us pray for all of the young people on our pilgrimages and for their place in the church, that their service of our sick pilgrims and the experiences of this week may be a reason for joy and appreciation of God's blessings. With Mary, our Mother of Mercy, we pray. We lift our prayers to you. We lift our prayers to you. As people of faith, 
let us be as ready to thank God for the many people who have known healing here as asking for healing for ourselves and those we love. With Mary, our Mother of Mercy, we pray. We lift our prayers to you. Faithful hearts, we pray at this shrine for all of our sick pilgrims, for those sick in body or in mind, that the prayers we make here may be part of our conversation with the God who created us and loves us. With Mary, our Mother of Mercy, we pray. We lift our prayers to you. Let us pray for the intercession of Mary, the Mother of Mercy, as we say. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. In your presence, merciful Lord, we come to know the beauty of your purpose for our lives. As in this holy place we come with wonder and awe, so reward the prayers of your people as they present their petitions. Grant all our prayers according to your will, through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed <laughs> are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, receive the gifts of your people, and grant that as we look up to the Blessed Virgin, Mother of Mercy, we may show ourselves merciful to others, and receive your pardon towards us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We give to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. Also our duty and salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. And as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim with fitting praise the greatness of your name. She is the gracious queen who has herself uniquely known your loving kindness and stretches out her arms to embrace all who take refuge in her and call upon her help in their distress. She is the mother of mercy, always attentive to the voice of her children seeking to win your compassion for them and asking your forgiveness for their sins. She is the handmaid of your love, never ceasing to pray for us to your Son, that he may enrich our poverty with his grace and strengthen our weakness with his power. Through him the angels of heaven offer their prayer of adoration as they rejoice in your presence forever. May our voices be one with theirs in their triumphant hymn of praise. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he 
took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Nicholas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. <coughs> Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Bernadette and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit,
around him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am Lord, I am Lord.
Son, light of the nations, for His mercy endures forever and ever. He loved us with a heart of flesh, for His mercy endures forever and ever. As we receive from Him, let us also give to him in his mercy and just forever and ever. Hearts open to those who hunger and thirst for his mercy and just forever and ever. Be merciful.
Let us pray. Lord God, you have given us food and drink from heaven. Grant that we may always praise your mercy in company with the Blessed Virgin and rejoice in her protection. For we acknowledge her as our Queen, compassionate to sinners and merciful to the poor. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just before the final lesson, uh, a few announcements. Uh, I ask the pilgrims from the Diocese of Kilmore to assemble as soon as possible after this ceremony at the statue of the Crown Virgin uh, to uh, be picked up there to go in groups to do the Stations of the Cross. Just to remind the Birmingham pilgrims that um, we have our uh, anointing and holy hour this afternoon. Our diocesan photo is tomorrow. Middlesbrough follows this, but if you want to make them look good, sneak into the photograph. <laughs> too many of us. But, but thank you for the reminder that after this Mass at Middlesbrough Pilgrims we have our photograph. Could I ask you gently but speedily to make your way to the steps in front of the Rosary Basilica. And could I ask our supported pilgrims to arrange themselves at the bottom step and everyone else our lesser supported pilgrims, if you will, to arrange themselves speedily on the steps. After the main photograph, there will be two others. A photograph for all our young people and their group leaders, and a photograph for all members of our hospitality. This afternoon, two o'clock we have our time at the baths and then at five we're walking as a diocese in the blessed sacrament procession thanks very much and that reminds me that our diocese Kilmore we are also taking part in the blessed sacrament procession this afternoon the Lord be with you and with your spirit Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Be merciful as your heavenly Father is merciful. Be merciful as your heavenly Father is merciful. Go forth, the Mass is ended. And peace be Christian. 
Yeah. 